Hey everybody, we're in the greenhouse for a little essential video. Another little essential video. If you're going to do a gardening <laughs> business, you got to source your plastic. So what does that mean? What is plastic? Maybe you're going to grow in soil cubes and more power to you, but good luck. Or are you going to try to find some sort of plastic that you can buy in bulk that you can then use tray bottoms, which I will show you in a minute that you put these into different tray bottoms to support them. Or you can use old plastic that you've been amassing for a long time from all the things you've been growing. And you could probably get away with your first season using old plastic if you're someone who stores a lot of old plastic like me. Now you may want different size plastic. You may want gallon containers like right here. These are gallons. These are your little four inch these are 18 in, in a tray. This is what I primarily use. Um, and I also have plastic over here, the trays that go with them. So like I talked about different tray bases that you put those into. Now I have a few other little things that I've kept over the years. You can use in different situations. You can use these. These are great for plugging out 72 of something. I've got a lot of those. So that's something you can do. Um, but you got to find a source for this plastic and it can't be buying it one offs. You have to find somewhere that you can buy it. I source my stuff at Amish stores in the country. I drive an hour and a half out into the country to the Amish and buy it there. You need to find your source, uh, cause you can't do it paying a uh, retail price for plastic. Uh, 